Hey, what's up dreamers? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, we're gonna talk about the top five stocks that are too cheap to pass up on right now. Now, when I say these stocks are cheap, that means that they're either being oversold on the RSI indicator. That means that they're being sold at a price that's undervalued for that company at the moment. Or we're gonna look at stocks that are at their 52 week low. That means over the past 52 weeks, over the past year, they are at that all time low. And I know that sounds bad, but when people are fearful of some of these companies, that's when investors like us come in and attack and we buy up all these shares at a cheap price where people are being fearful of these stocks and then we ride that wave on back up to the top for a good nice swing trade now these companies that i'm going to talk about in this video is not just penny stocks or companies that i'm taking a risk on i do this on companies that i plan to hold inside my portfolio long term that means over a year two three maybe five years inside of my portfolio so anytime that these companies have a nice pullback I like to go in and dollar cost average in and buy up a bunch of these shares. Now I would not do this strategy on companies that are not good, uh, companies that are just starting out, companies that you don't really know anything about because that company could pull back and continue to pull back and never recover. So you wanna do this on companies that you plan to hold for a long time, just in case that it do pull back some more, you're not ready because you know that in the long term that this company is a pretty solid company and that will eventually get back to a fair trade value for that company and that long term you will eventually make profit so in this video i'm going to bring you guys some news and some technical analysis when we break down the chart just to see if you guys are interested in any of these companies so if that sounds nice to you go on ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel that helps out this channel more than you could even imagine but before we dive into this video this video is brought to you by we will sign up now by clicking the link down in the description deposit any amount of money and you will receive two free stocks valued up to twenty three hundred dollars with those two free stocks you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it or you could sell those two free stocks and withdraw all of your money it's literally free money guys all you need to do is deposit just one dollar if you want to any amount of money you'll get your two free stocks also they run a promotion to where if you trade any amount of cryptocurrency you'll get a free five dollars worth of ship so go ahead and pick up your free money guys you don't want to miss out on this amazing opportunity but enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video Welcome back dreamers. Here we are on charge point over on Weeble. Right now charge point is at $20 and 20 cents. Now over the last year, as you guys can see, they're down around 51% when they had an all time high of around $46 and 86 cents. Now charge point is the world's largest um, electric vehicle charging station type company that is, that is publicly traded on the stock market. And this company is a very long term company for me. Just imagine investing into gas stations um, when they first came out to these oil and gas stations, when they first came out hundreds of years ago, you will be filthy rich today. So instead of just investing into electric vehicles like Tesla and Lucid, you can also invest into the gas stations, AKA electric vehicle charging stations like charge points, which is the world's biggest one in order to see that same kind of boom in income that the oil and gas industry had when the Ford Model T first combustible engine first came out guys. So um, investing to a company like charge point is a very long term play for me. Them pulling back over the last year or so has not scared me at all because I plan to hold this company over the next five to 10 years or so, especially with the infrastructure bill that's getting passed now. Now charge point just had an earnings report. So let's pull up uh, the news and the technical analysis on charge point to give you guys a better look on this company completely been oversold right there on the RSI on the year. It is at the bottom as you guys can see and that's a perfect time for me to get in and scoop up a couple of more shares of charge point all right now here we are on the news article for charge point they just had the earnings report they showed that they had a quarterly loss for q3 of 69.4 million dollars but they did have a revenue of 65 million dollars in q3 um charge point did pull back after earnings report because they did not meet expectations but as of october 31st they have around 163,000 charging stations across the world with about 45,000 of them being in europe now the big thing about charge points is that 
investors are pretty much waiting for the build back better infrastructure bill this is the infrastructure bill that we've been talking about they've been waiting for that to pass in order to really heavily invest into charge point but charge point actually said right here that charge point ceo mentions that the build back better bill does not address the primary use of case of charging he doesn't mind the government support but it says it takes a long time to go from policy to implementation so pretty much he's saying that um having help from the government will be nice but we don't really need it to grow this company and that is something that i like to hear um it's a very long-term play for me it's a long-term play for them and i really see this being a successful company in the future now if we go and pull up charge point on trading view right here we've been tracking this a long time over in the discord once it had broke this up this downtrend line right here uh, i sent the signal to the discord saying that hey it might be time to go ahead and buy it's in our buy zone it just broke a downtrend and it has shot all the way up for a good nice option play and as you guys can see the earnings report had absolutely nothing to do with this pullback at all uh in fact it started to pull back well before earnings report people started to sell off their options people started to sell up sell off their stocks in fear of the earnings report and the earnings report did come out and then they did miss earnings report so it's probably going to pull back it's in our buy zone if, if we want to put in some options for this for a swing trade i'm going to do a complete technical analysis over this and put it inside of the patreon which leads you to my discord so if you guys do want to join the patreon i am going to leave a link down in the comment section over there they'll take you to the discord where we post technical analysis uh, options cryptocurrencies and different other um, strategies that we use every single week in order to grow our accounts it's an amazing community over there if you want to join that community um, it's just 12 dollars a month that's around 40 cents a day. If you guys want to join that, that link will be down in the comment section. If you want access to different technical analysis like this. The second one is GPS, AKA Gap. Now Gap has shot up um, ever since Kanye West has announced that he's going to be working with Gap and releasing his clothes over there with a partnership with them as a creative director with Gap. Now it's shot all the way up. He released his bubble jacket. He released his clothes over there and the company seemed to be doing well. And it has been pulling back ever since since around June, it's been pulling back to where it's all the way now near our all time low at $16.95 when Gap at one point was all the way up to $36.33. Now this could be a nice easy swing trade. Let's get into the news to find out why Gap has been pulling back and if this will be a smart play for us in the future. Okay, so here we are on one of the news articles. Um, Gap completely missed their earnings report and the reason is because they have lost a ton of their sales due to delayed in product shipping out in california they're having a big major delay in shipping they can't get their products in they can't get their products out they've been talking about um dropping off products with drones in order to get them to their customers flying them out but they're just not able to move their product at all if you guys think over the next year or two two three four years that they're going to be able to get their um logistics down to where they could get their shipments out on time and get their shipments in on time this might be the perfect swing trade for you so that's why gap has been pulling back so much is because um they're not able to get in their products and not able to get out their products and also if kanye west do become the creative director of louis vuitton then this might not be the play for you but if he does not become the, the creative director of Louis Vuitton then he'll still be working very close with Gap and with Adidas so we go to the technical analysis right quick uh, type in GPS for Gap let's go ahead and do a very 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 quick one I drew out the support line where it had bounced once right here and used this as the support and the bounce again right there as you guys can see if we click on earnings report right here they missed it by a <laughs> by a by a ton so that's how bad that they're not able to get out their products if you want to swing trade this it's probably not safe to get in right now we'll wait until the ema crosses the moving average the 300 moving average in order for it to be back in the uptrend and then we'll swing trade but this is a nice solid support line at $15.83 if it pulls back there if it pulls back there i'll probably put in an option or scoop up a couple of shares but i'm really want to swing trade this once these two lines right here cross and start to trend back up but i have to pay attention to the news 
to see if the logistics of the shipping is getting better out there. And once it does, this will be a nice company that could go from $16.90 all the way back up to this old all time high of $35.65. So that's Gap, another company too cheap to pass up on right now. The next one is Alf Point ticker symbol AVPT. Over the last year, they are down 54%. Let's pull up the chart right quick. So yeah, Alf Point is down 54% after a nice little run up after they went public. Now I just bought 100 shares of Alf Point at this amazing price under seven dollars because Alf Point, if Microsoft does well, then Alf Point should in theory, in theory does well. Nothing fundamentally has changed about this company. AppPoint runs all of Microsoft 365 cloud services. So when Microsoft grow their company and every school district in the nation, every job in the nation uses Microsoft Teams, um, Microsoft 365 in order to communicate throughout their company, then Microsoft Teams is pretty much better than Zoom to me, kind of sorta in their own perspective. So when AppPoint just been pulling back for no reason, there's nothing fundamentally has really changed about this company. I bought 100 shares of AlphPoint that I posted in the Discord last week. So if you think Microsoft is going to do well in the future and you think cloud services is going to continue to do well in the future, AlphPoint might be one for you. It is at an amazing price right now. And that's stock number three, too cheap to pass up on that you probably need to put on your watch list or buy right now. The next company is AT&T, ticker symbol T. They're all the way down over the last year, 25%. Now, at t they've been making some changes and moves inside of that company. Now, this is one that things have fundamentally been changing, but this is a, a tech giant, guys. It's at t This is the one that all of the investors, all of the big time companies are fearful of and scared to talk about because they've just been pulling back. But while the price is low, at t has historically been shown that pretty much have a pretty high dividend. And if we could get in at an amazing price at $22.84 while it's pulling back, then this might be the company that we could swing trade on up to the top. Now, I'm not going to lie, over the last five years, at t is down. But if you think in super long term, if you think they can recover all the way from $22.84 to around maybe $40, you, you would nearly double your money. Uh, it's not a stream that they could go back up to $40, but AT&T is not going anywhere. They have so much money. They pay out their investors in form of dividends. That's why dividend investors um, love investing into AT&T. But this is one that you do have to play close attention on um they are under value right now the rsi as you guys can see is well under the 30 so when the rsi is oversold like that then that's usually a good time to get in and pick up a couple of shares while the company is undervalued so this so at t is company number four that's undervalued that you might need to put on your watch list or you could pick up a couple of shares right now. Now the last company is Activision, ticker symbol ATVI. This is this is a company that I use all the time. I play a ton of video games and Activision is a video game type company that's probably going to get inside the metaverse very soon or making their own NFTs for their video games. Over the last year, they're down 29% over the last five years. As you guys can see, they have their ways of going up and down, up and down, up and down. And right now, while it's down and oversold on the RSI for the year, $58.60 might be a great uh, opportunity to get in on Activision. Now, if you don't know anything about Activision, if you don't know anything about video games and you don't follow that sector at all, this might not be the play for you. But if you heavily involved into the video game industry or just play any games you know about Activision and or heard of them, and this might be one that you need to put on your um, watch list that you guys need to pay very close attention to in order to see the future growth of this company and what plans are they having and what plans are they going to do in the future in order to grow this company so that's company number five that's oversold that's undervalued that you need to add to your portfolio or add to your watch list today and there you go guys those are the top five stocks that are too cheap to pass up on right now um if you can think of other any other stocks that are oversold i'm talking about like near 52 weeks low that is a good solid company drop that down in the comment section i would love to see what you guys come up with a hundred of you guys is better than one pair of my eyes and we could all work together in a great community if you'd like to join the patreon that link will be down to the in the comment section that'll take you to my discord but don't forget to pick up your two free stocks with Weeble by clicking the link down in the description sign up deposit any amount of money guys don't pass up on free money but other than that i'm zeke bring you the dream green show and i'm out peace